starts now. And new tonight, an attack in the Garfield Park neighborhood. A man is behind bars tonight facing a preliminary charge of aggravated battery. News 8's Julia Dang is following the case. And Julia, you covered a string of earlier incidents, and they could be related? Well, needed to be clear, there is no confirmed connection yet between those incidents and the attack today. But the fires, vandalism, and threats we covered all happened on Finley Avenue. For months, neighbors had called for authorities to take action before anybody got hurt. This morning, neighbors say the aggravated battery victim was stabbed. I felt like it fell upon deaf ears for a while. Mike Angel says he feels justified in his vigilante justice efforts in the Garfield Park neighborhood. Yeah, unfortunately, I personally spent probably hundreds of hours watching the neighborhood. He staked out the 1200 block of Finley Avenue after he claims two friends who lived there were threatened by a neighbor. It's up to us to protect our own neighborhood and not rely so much on the police, but rely on each other, our neighbors, and do the best we can and be vigilant. His friends had enough and moved after their porch cam recorded video of a man smashing their flower pot. The neighbor they accused wasn't arrested for that incident. He was questioned by IMPD after an arson in October. He was never charged. Many threats occurred on the street and perhaps those should have been looked into further. On Thursday, 30-year-old Apollo Jones was arrested on a preliminary charge of aggravated battery. Online jail records show he remained in custody Thursday night. Attorneys representing Jones could not be reached for comment. It's a bit frustrating for all of us who we put a lot of hours, civilian hours, into doing the best we could to prevent this sort of thing from happening. Mike Angel and other neighbors say detectives emailed them today informing them of that arrest and stating the battery victim was recovering. Aggravated battery is a level three felony in Indiana, punishable by three to 16 years in prison.